answer the question just a moment ago about um, the spirituality of Christianity, because I always struggled with that, because I would see people in there that would be like telling me things about my life, and I'm like, how do you know that? And they said, God put it in my heart. The Holy Spirit said something to me. Right. And I think they're nuts. <laughs> and um, so I've seen that my whole life, and um, was it Paul who introduced that? Because it's a big thing in Christianity, because it talks about it in the Book of Romans, First Corinthians, and all that about uh -huh. spiritual gifts. Yes. And that um, you never see Jesus introduce that to us. Right. Good. Now you're starting to see, understand, right. and learn, and get the true teachings of Jesus. Right. You understand? Because in Islam, it's very simple. Did the Prophet bring it? Yes. Then it's good. He didn't bring it. Then put a question mark there. He didn't bring it, but he approved it. It's okay. He didn't approve it, then definitely why are we bringing it up? So all of that, in fact, although Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, he brought spirituality, what we are talking about, understanding how we have certain divine qualities that we have bring out and wrong qualities that we have to bring it down. Talking about fairness, talking about justice, talking about compassion, everything. At the same time that he's bringing high spirituality, he was also showing very big miracles. Correct? He was bringing the dead back to life. He was curing the lepers. He was um, uh, feeding multitudes with a few loaves of bread and some fish. He did so many miracles, but his mission, I don't want to use the word ministry, okay? You see how I'm very specific also. His mission, what he was sent, is not to teach his nation the way of how to work these miracles. In fact, he's saying all this is coming from Allah. It is not me. It is not my effort. Everything is coming from the language of that time saying from the Father. It is not me. What was the time that he was living in? The time that he was living in were people busy with work. Very big on that. Those, those are the things that impress the most. Okay? To see them. But that is the lowest level of faith. That is the lowest level of faith by a miracle, not to be moved by your intelligence or your heart, to know, to not know what is right and wrong, but see something that is so extraordinary and say, okay, I have to believe now. The one who has faith without miracles, his faith is much stronger than the one who has faith because he sees something unusual, because he accepts it, he understands it by himself. Yes, at that time, there are so many people who are working so many magic stuff, correct? And up to today, even the Jews, they are saying his miracles is actually black magic that he learned uh, when he went to Egypt. That he took from all the magicians in Egypt, because from the time of Musa alayhi salam, the magicians, they, they learn everything. And this is also one of their preoccupations also. Uh, knowing all these dark arts, not only from Egypt, I'm talking about those people, not in Egypt, but also in Babylon later, in other places. So, now Isa alayhi salam is using their language. Their la if the language is magic, extraordinary things, he's using their language to talk to them. But that is just as a gateway, entryway. Now he says, now you have to become better people. Now you have to become kinder people. Now you have to use your intelligence and you have to use your spirit. Now is the time for you to hold on to the Sharia, to the laws, even closely, more closer, holding on tightly to it. So, the you are now understanding Jesus, part of his mission is never to teach people how to do the things that he has done. But, as you said, it was only Paul later on when he made that into a big thing. Usually, 
cults are also from the basis of this. Okay? Using that so that people now can just blindly follow. This is also a part of man's faith now. Man is given that faith also to submit, that it is most easy to just submit. I just saw one video. There is one man in somewhere in Russia. I think his name is Vassirian. He's claiming he's God. And he has thousands of followers. They all dress in white. They all live in this kind of mountainous area. He appears in white clothes, looking like Jesus, like this. And everyone is just looking at him, praying to him, dressing white, white. And they really believe that he is God. He really believes he is God, but like he mix up a little bit. He says, yeah, I'm actually extraterrestrial, ET, UFO something. And people are believing. And people are following. Whole families are following. And he's saying, be nice to each other, be good, be good with the land, learn how to... Same thing. But people are still in this 21st century, still. Which means that it is in every man's nature to submit, to want to believe. Now, Paul understanding that these are the things that also sells. How are you going to spread this? These are the things that sells then it starts opening up even more. But understand that this is not something that even Isa salam or his closer companions, the disciples, his companions, they were busy with. They were not busy with this. Yeah. Do miracles happen? Of course miracles happen. Unusual things, they happen. It happens all the time. It used to be happening more commonly than now because people believed more. It used to be a time when our own grandfathers could work miracles. Just because they are good people, they stay away from dirtiness and they treat people fairly and they worship Allah. Our great grandfathers, they are able to work miracles. Unusual things, Allah is showing power. But our faith doesn't rest in that. There was a time where it was very common. Hmm. Now, it is happening, but they put a veil on it too. If you blink, you're going to miss it. Have I witnessed miracles that I've shared? Of course, so many times. Based on what he says, based on what he has predicted, knowing, things that he has done with the animal world, with the elements, with people, I've seen that. But, that is not the reason why I'm following him. I'm not following him because he works miracles. I'm following him because I am sick. And he is the doctor. And I feel myself getting better with him. What is the use of all those miracles if he cannot heal my sickness? If he cannot heal our sickness? If our spiritual sicknesses that we have, we cannot become better? These things are now common. You see YouTube videos of kids on the streets levitating, right? Uh, floating in the air, doing all sorts of magic tricks that if it was just 200 years ago, they would burn him here in America, saying you're a witch, correct? Doing all those tricks. Mm. How far we have gotten. So, Stay away from confusion, inshallah. Yes. You understand a little bit. You will understand. You'll learn how to appreciate. And Isa alayhi salam will love you more. So he's saying, I'm reaching out to so many. One of the reasons why he's coming back is to reach out to Christians. To say, listen, you've been tricked. Listen. And his work is already starting now. Those who want to become better, once following the teachers, teachings of Jesus, follow this way. Inshallah. Inshallah.